Hello, and welcome to another episode of Something Something Chat Show with Tom Jr. Jackson presents After the Movie Review. Today's movie is Casablanca from 1942. But first, on to the housekeeping. Uh, please uh, check out Positive Fandom. Host, uh, channel is hosted by RM, which he has unboxing reviews, and every Sunday morning at 10:30 a.m. Eastern, 7:30 a.m. Pacific, it's Sunday brunch live with ho- co-host Russ Whitfield, as well. Uh, there they will discuss all the pop culture parlay that's going on of the day. Also, uh, check out the Post Geek Singularity with such shows as Midnight Metal, Midnight Musings, Let's Get Physical Media, Fully Articulated, and Observations with your captain, Robert Myron Burnett, uh, director of Free Enterprise and also uh, animatic editor on Dota. Dragon's Blood, which is now showing on Netflix. And coming soon to the Post-Geek Singularity channel on uh, September 12th at 6 p.m. It's Ladies of the PGS, hosted by RM, where they embrace masculinity, sex, uh, and conversations about Star Trek, Star sci-fi, horror, and so much more, and that premieres September 12th, which is a Monday, on the PGS Network at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m., yeah, 3 p.m. Pacific, so check those out, and now on with the show. Also, I should mention, please like, comment, and subscribe to each channel. And also to my channel, too, if you have not done yet. And on to the show. Casablanca, uh, a great film, made in 1942. It's an hour and 42 minutes. It stars Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, Claude Rains, Sidney Greenstreet, and Peter Lorre. Which, fun fact... Uh, Humphrey Bogart, uh, Sidney Greenstreet, and Peter Lorre were all in the Maltese Falcon together. They were. I was directed by Michael Cortese, and uh, many of the actors who were in this movie that played Nazis were actually uh, German uh, Jews who actually escaped Nazi Germany. So there's a scene where they're all singing, and if you see them with tears in their eyes, that is because they are, you know, celebrating their freedom from that country. Um, in 2000, uh, Madonna wanted to make a remake of Casablanca, and she wanted to play the Ingrid Bergman part and she wanted Aston Kutcher to play the Humphrey Bogart part to where a director had said, uh, not director, but a um, studio executive has said the movie is deemed untouchable, that it could never be remade at all. And so the parts were scrapped. Now, um, let's get into a little bit about Casablanca in case you have never seen it. Casablanca was uh, made in 1942. It takes place in 1941 in the um, uh, French Morocco. Uh, It's a classic love story of uh, a man who struggles to help his former lover and her fugitive husband escape Nazi-occupied uh, or Nazi uh, French Morocco. I, I don't know. They, they're not, they have not occupied it yet. It's still unoccupied. 
whether or not they escape, I'm not going to tell you. You have to watch that. I'm not going to spoil the movie. I know it's been 80 years, but I'm still not going to ruin this movie for those of you who have not seen it yet. But it's a fantastic, fantastic film that uh, you, you, you must watch. Um, let's see here. It is the ultimate classic love story of man meets woman, man loses woman, man meets woman again. And the rest you have to find out for yourself. Um, it's, it's, in, it's in black and white, but it's a really, really good movie. It's, it's one of those movies where you, you've always heard about it. But if you actually sit down and take the time to watch this film, fantastic, fantastic. I watch Casablanca, I want to say once every few months, once every few months, because it is that good of a movie, it's that special of a movie, because it was taking place during uh, 1941. It was made during World War Two, which they were very, which is very surprising, you know. Um, uh, President Roosevelt at the time became a huge fan. He went to visit with Churchill after making some deal with him. Came back and asked to see the film at the, uh, me, at the White House. It is a Warner Brothers film. Um. It has a 99% certified on Rotten Tomatoes as well. Fantastic film. I cannot highly recommend it enough. And it's one that if you are a cinephile, if you're a, a purist in um, movies, this is one you should watch. One you've already should have watched, but you should watch this. It's, it's a, it's like I'm saying, it's fantastic. I think if I say fantastic one more time, I get a free sub. So, um, what else is there to say? Is that it's like I said, it's a very spectacular film. At one point, um, Humphrey Bogart did not want to be in it because he did not understand the whole love thing. It wasn't his thing. Um, Ingrid Bergman at one point watched over and over um, Maltese Falcon to see how um, Humphrey Bogart acted, you know, and, and what it was like to work, work with him. Excuse me. But as I said before, I highly recommend this movie. Rent it, buy it, watch it. Um, let let me know in the comments if you've ever seen this movie and what you think of it as well. And I'm gonna say, to me, it is one of the best films in the past eighty years. Burn on hands down. Fantastic. It should be watched. Because the more you watch these old films, the more they will be saved. And the more they will uh, be passed down from generation to generation. Because they are really a moment in time. Um, that is all for now, I guess. Uh, once again, the links to... Uh, positive Fandom and the Post Geek Singularity are down below. Also, if you go to the Post Geek Singularity YouTube page, for as little as 99 cents, you can join the channel. And every two weeks or so, they do a uh, members-only Zoom call where you can get on and speak and ask the questions to your captain, Robert Meyer Burnett. You can ask him anything you want. You can talk about Star Trek. You can talk about movies, pop culture. Anything you want. 
And Rob is a pretty, pretty reasonable guy. He's a good friend. Good friend of the channel. So, I want to say thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also at uh, some point down the line, we have some more reviews coming of movies. We got some book reviews coming down the line. And also um, trying to work on getting some interviews for the channel as well. Because after all, this is a chat show channel. But I'd like to branch out and do different things because it's fun. And all the um, uh, thumbnails that you see for these videos are made by me. Um, I use a website called PosterMyWall.com. And you, it's just free. You, you can do whatever you want with it, you know. Do your own thumbnails or Facebook uh, cover photos or Twitter headers and, and whatnot. And, or do you up your own uh, Instagram photos to put up on Instagram. So check them out as well. Postermywall.com. I am not sponsored by them, but I wish I was. So, anyways, I want to thank you for watching. And as always, remember this, folks. We are all beautiful people. Thank you, and have a great day, or night, or morning, or afternoon, however you choose to be. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.